guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we're going to be checking out the latest in the Masters of the Universe Eternia minis lineup. Now, I don't know if this is like Wave 3 or Wave 4. To be honest, I'm completely lost, so feel free to tell me if you know, because Wave 1 came blind boxed in the little Castle Grayskulls. Wave 2 came inside the little Snake Mountains. I thought Mattel had shown that there was going to be a wave inside of little slime pits, but now these little carded minis are hitting store shelves. So I don't know if that means that they have gotten away from the blind box little packages and they're changing into these card backs. Um, but these first started hitting stores in Canada like several weeks ago, uh, which is actually where I got my set from, but they are showing up in the US now as well in the same style little mini uh, card backs. So maybe this is what we have shifted to. Some people I think will like this a lot better because they're not blind boxed anymore. You can just look at them. You can see what you're getting. Plus, uh, they do an uh, awesome job of mimicking a vintage Masters of the Universe card back or the Origins card backs. It's got the red bursting blocks, the blue sky. You've got the logo at the top. So really fun little stuff. They even have the little dimple in the uh, in the shaped blister bubble, just like the larger figures. So it is pretty cool. So this wave has got some really unique stuff. You can see there's nothing cool on the back. It's just a bunch of copy. Um, so no cross cells, no artwork or anything like that. So they're pretty basic otherwise, um, but they do look pretty neat on these little card backs. I love seeing the vintage style card backs. So this wave gives us battle armor, He-Man and Skeletor. And we get some classics like Stratos. Uh, but then we get some really fun stuff, which I love. We've got Ninjor, who just came out in Origins as well. We've got two anti-Eternia characters, which is amazing. Ram Man and Tila. And finally, in the minis line, we've got Evil Lynn. So uh, these are great. I love the little packages, but we are going to open them up just to get a bit of a closer look at each of these minifigures. All right, hey, we got our Eternia minis outside of the packaging, and we're gonna get a closer look at this particular wave here. But just in case you are not familiar with these, I'll bring in the tape measure to show you guys. They stand right around the two inch mark, and uh, they do feature some minimal articulation. Uh, basically, the heads can are on a little ball joint. So they can kind of turn left and right. They can kind of go up and down. You can move the arms up and down and you can swivel the waist side to side. Uh, they're in this fun, like super deformed design. Uh, they got the short little stubby legs, but as you can see, they all stand up really good. I knocked over Stratos here. He's actually the one that's got like the big heavy backpack. So he's probably the one that's got the most trouble standing, but Hey, as you can see, I've got him standing up there. So this is a fun assortment with some new characters here. Um, as I just knock everybody over here, let's just go ahead and pull all these guys out of the way. We'll start with He-Man and Skeletor in this particular wave. Cause we've got our battle armor versions. You know, these are like iconic classic versions of He-Man and Skeletor. Of course, they don't actually have the action feature. There's no action features on these. But I do love the nice shine of the silver that is on He-Man's uh, armor there. All of the paint looks nice and clean on this guy, actually. And that silver really is uh, quite shiny on there. I think it looks really good. It's not like vac metal shiny, but it still looks really, really nice. I do have a little bit of a paint slop on his face. I don't know if you guys can actually see that, but it looks like some of the yellow from his hair got on his chin. Uh, so that's a bit of a bummer, but otherwise he looks pretty good. And you'll see he's actually got two accessories. We have the Sword of Power and the Battle Axe, and both weapons are removable. I love that he's got the Battle Axe because for me, I don't know, Battle Armor He-Man and the Battle Axe always just go so well together. Uh, but of course we do have the Sword of Power as well. So like we can just have He-Man double wielding weapons there. And then uh, same with Skeletor here. You know, he has got his battle armor as well based on that vintage action figure. I uh, got the bright neon green and pink bat on his chest, which I absolutely love. Uh, the detailing is actually really nice on here because the bat is like fully sculpted. It's not just paintwork. This is all sculpted all around here. So really nice little minis. Um, again, these are like reused because we've definitely seen the minis before back in the Maddie Collector day. So some of these are definitely some of those old 
shoulder sculpts. Um, but you know, the paint is pretty good on these guys. Uh, really nice all the way around. This one looks really good and clean. And again, two accessories in the form of the purple sword as well as the Havoc staff. So Skeletor's got both of his appropriate weapons there. Evil Lynn is a really nice inclusion. We haven't really had any ladies in this line yet. I know that there is another wave that's got Tila, the regular Tila as well, but uh, this is the Evil Lynn. I love the designs of the females. I think they look great in this line. Of course, they're a little more slimmed down, but they the heads also look bigger on them. But, you know, they got kind of got those same super deformed portions proportions going on there and evil Lynn does come with her wand which actually does have a pretty long handle it's not quite like a staff it is more like a wand like the vintage figure articulation functions the same just at the waist and the arms and the head um you know she's got the the yellow skin and the blue hues on the costume just like the vintage action figure and uh she stands very well for being such a tiny little figure but i love it i think she looks fantastic so there's good old Stratos, one of the original eight back figures. This is another one that we had from the Maddie Collector two pack days. Uh, so this is a version that's got the blue jet pack and the red wings. Uh, this version of Stratos did not come with any accessories. However, uh, we originally had the staff of Avion with the old Maddie Collector ones. So I am a bit bummed to see that this version of Stratos doesn't actually come with any accessories. You can see he's got the same hands that could hold an accessory. Um, so it really feels like that it's a bit of a missed opportunity stratos gets the short end of the stick a lot i guess it's because he's got the big wings and the jetpack they just feel like they don't have to give him an accessory but i think that's such a bummer stratos should definitely have something to hold on to Ninjor is a really nice surprise, and I love that he's been getting uh, a lot of attention, like a lot of love. He got an Origins figure. He's one of those weirdos that came out towards the end of the original run, and there's always the argument that a ninja doesn't seem to fit in, but I've always said bah to that, because come on, there's so many weird things in Masters of the Universe. I'm all about a weird demon ninja guy, and uh, it's really cool seeing him in this minifigure form. You can see they painted on the uh, classic Ninjor logo with the sword and the dragon straight off the vintage toy he's got the blacked out eyes so they definitely went with that more demonic look for him he does have the monster feet as well he does come with his sword which is very short it looks more like a dagger in this form it's not like i don't know why it's not bigger like you know he-man's sword is like oversized so it really feels like they should have done something more like that with ninjors because it makes it look more like a tiny little dagger than a katana like it's supposed to be also i would have loved it if he came with at least his nunchucks too I think that would have been great to have that extra uh, accessory included in there because Ninjor as a vintage figure was known as a figure that had a lot of accessories. So we got him cut down to just one with this, but at least he's got one, unlike Stratos. Uh, he's a bit unique too because, you know, he's got a fully new body there. I mean, honestly, they're doing that with all these guys. It's not like these are all shared parts, uh, but it's still cool seeing like a different kind of tunic look on the torso there. So love it. I love having this guy. And if Ninjor wasn't enough red and black for you, well, we've got two Anti-Eternia characters. If you are not familiar with the Anti-Eternia characters, like Anti-Eternia He-Man comes from the old German audio plays, and he's sort of just become this iconic fan favorite. So we've got all these Anti-Eternia versions of various Masters characters. Um, so I know that there's another wave, and I think I mentioned the wave that's supposed to have the slime pit containers. It looks like those were changed to carded ones, and that wave has got an Anti-Eternia He-Man and Man-at-Arms in it, and I don't have that wave in hand yet. Um, so when I have that, we'll definitely follow up, but these kind of add to that. So we've got a Ram Man and a Tila. Um, this is going to share the same Tila mold that's in that other wave uh same with this ram man we've already looked at a ram man on the channel before but now they're painted red and black with glowing red eyes um they're very cool they're very fun uh you know kind of a, a bit obscure you know a little unique not i i don't think everybody's really gonna know what these even are or where they come from but i think it's fun that they're including things like this in the line and if you get that anti-eternia he-man and man-at-arms you can have yourself a whole anti-eternia army it's pretty cool so there you go. That's my look at the wave four, 
three? I don't know. I've lost count of the waves. You guys can tell me. But this particular wave of the Eternia minis action figures, uh, super fun. I think these are great. I'm enjoying collecting these. I know there's so many different form factors out there for Masters of the Universe right now. It is getting a bit hard to keep up with all of it. But um, these are fun and unique and they're different. And that does appeal to me. So I do have to give a very special thanks to my buddy Jabroni Skeletor over on Instagram because uh, these hit Canada first and he actually picked these up for me um, and shipped them down. So I really appreciate that. But I know that these are also hitting US stores right now. I think folks are finding these at Walmart. So definitely keep a lookout. They're not the easiest things to find, unfortunately, like a lot of this stuff. Um, so stay tuned. Um, if any of the online stores are carrying them, I'll make sure I link those orders in the description as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time. The Toys of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe is available for pre-order now. This official guidebook is published by Dark Horse Books and features over 750 pages of photos and information on your favorite He-Man and She-Ra action figures. And don't miss out on the exclusive bundle pack available for pre-order now from PowerCon. This bundle includes the official guide as well as an exclusive character guide supplement that you won't be able to buy anywhere else. Don't miss out. You have the power.